I'm Dan Dorn with Decatur County Feed Yard in Overland, Kansas. We're located in northwest Kansas, um, kind of seven miles south of the Nebraska-Kansas border, south of McCook on Highway 83. Uh, we're a 40,000 head commercial feed yard and really focus on retaining ownership, uh, with working with producers that uh, retain ownership. Uh, we have about 210, 210 active customers spread from Florida to Hawaii here. We look at the profit drivers here, and we've, we've really studied that. Your number one profit driver is feed efficiency. The next one is carcass merit, so um, quality grade, yield grade, uh, and then the last one is carcass weight. Well, there's always different juries out when we have cross versus the straight bread and the crossbred, but heterosis is the key. If you get them crossbred cattle in here and, and cross them up, you just see so much better performance on the cattle. Uh, you, you'll see better grade typically, more muscle, feed efficiency is better, so all, it hits all the profit drivers when you cross them off. A feed conversion alone, um, you, you can make up so much money and you will get paid if you're tracking, tracking for it. Quality grades, you're getting paid. Uh, we're actually in our processing barn where we do a lot of the measurements as far as our, our sorting system and, and feeding cattle to an optimum endpoint. And what we do is we sort cattle to an endpoint, so whether they're getting too big, too fat, or inefficient, in short is why we market or, or sort these cattle into different outcome groups. But also then, once we get these cattle sorted, we will get some uh, a closeout, if you will, back to our producers. One, a summary that shows kind of overall performance as the group, but then also individual closeouts. So if you send 100 head, you're going to get 100 closeouts and it's going to show individual feed efficiency, individual quality grade, yield grade, um, any performance, animal health history, all that will be documented. Genetics is a huge portion of what we're doing. You know, this system that you're looking at behind me was developed really for commodity cattle. We've taken and put a genetics layer to it and so we can really optimize these individuals. We see a $300 value within groups of cattle, uh, but you'll see uh, and that's all based on genetics. I, I mean, that's just same herd, same different genetics, different bulls, different sires, if you will. Um, we also see a lot of, of uh, variance in uh, different management styles as well with that, but genetics is the key to the whole thing. There's going to be a real key into the use of genomics from just simple sire testing, knowing your sires and multi-sire pastures, onto different genomic markers that they have. Uh, I think there's a real key and as technology comes forward that's uh, going to be more important. Price is going to come down, be easier to use, and we'll just have better tools. I think it's a must in the future. Get some data. Benchmark where you're at. You don't know, if you're not feeding your cattle, you need to feed some, partner with somebody like ourselves, do something so you get some real world data and really set a benchmark where you're at and then because you can make huge strides. You can add three, four, five hundred dollars per head to your bottom line with genetics, if you, but you need to know where to start. 